And so really briefly about some of your album covers early on in the titles where you came up from, I would say not to not self-titled. Strength in the album cover, who came up with that? Uh, the label, it, it uh, when I first seen it, I was like, what? Too, you know, I mean, a big naked man on the cover, but um, <laughs> when you go walking in, as you walk into the, the Atlantic, ATCO Atlantic building in mm. New York there, that's it right in the lobby. That's what you see is uh, that oh, the, the strength cover only sold, sold in the world, but they just made it a peace sign. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, I think one of your best album titles, that you guys can, actually pretty good album title just overall across the board is Animals with Human Intelligence. Talk about monkeys right there. I, I love that title. That's probably a good title. I don't think you came up with it. No, I like no, it, we, but I, we I, had nothing to do with that title. That was all the label. What? That's a good, no, actually was, a good title. I guess, I guess it, it, <laughs> it summed us up, huh? <laughs> I don't know about that. I just thought it was an interesting title. So you guys have no control over any of the titles? Or they just kind of took no, over just, or No, just that title. Just the title of that record, that was, uh, you know, with a whole different kind of label. Um, yeah. Like Echo Atlantic, we, we basically, you know, they knew what we were doing. We, they knew we knew what we were doing. So they kind of mm -hmm. let us have free reign and do this and that, you know, and then any bad decisions and choices that were made, like the look and all that stuff was out of yeah. uh, lack of experience in our, in our whole uh, management team and everything being kind of clusterfuck at that time. We were going through lawsuits and shit. And so. Yeah, so uh, we got to basically call it ourselves, you know what I mean? And uh, and then afterwards, after the animals, then we were not, no longer on major labels. And then I basically, you know, I, I basically came up with the titles. All right, so then actually you can get- But not the covers, not the covers. Well, who does That's, the covers? Who, who came up with the covers to go along? I don't know. There? I don't know. Different people do the covers. See, uh, I was not always consistently present, you know what I mean, mentally and- and this and that and so uh chip did a lot of the a lot of the you know business side of everything and um and a lot of times uh, one of the biggest problems i had with chip is that i end up getting stuck with things decisions that he made that i really strongly disagree with but i get stuck with them when it's too late when they're etched in stone you know i'm holding a copy of the record yeah and, uh, it's just it's such a process of a band that, that you know i mean usually a lot of bands have the cover art is it's a whole creative concept yeah well i come up i come up with a great title for the record, you know, what I mean, is after uh, animals like peach fuzz because we were like babies, and it was kind yeah. of a uh, you know uh, mishmash of things that didn't make records, and then seven, which was our seventh record, so that was an easy one. Oh, like nineteen eighty five yeah. was an easy one. Right. I don't think I came up with that, but then tweaked. That was a uh, you know paraphernalia. That uh, welcome to Blue Island. One. Welcome to Blue Island was going to be a great album cover, but see. I would come up with these titles, but the next thing I knew, there was an album called that with uh, whatever, whoever's artwork of somebody seen or had sent or who's yeah. did or proved or whatever. And I fucking hated every single album cover. And like, Welcome to Blue Island was, uh, so what do you sunshine, drive? Right? Huh? Yeah, I'm pulling up the title. Yeah, yeah, it's with the big sunshine on it. Yeah. When you, when you drive it. into Blue Island from the, from the shitty side, there's a big sign that says, Welcome to Blue Island. It's got like 50 bullet holes in it and shit, you know, where the, people shooting the, the sign up and stuff. So I thought that would be a great, great yeah, album. Actually living, yeah. But uh, somehow uh, the album cover <laughs> looks like a cartoon big chips enough as a sun. I don't know what the fuck now. Dissonance, that was a good one. Yeah, that, um, what's interesting is like some, the title could have gone more with the art. I mean, cause like I said, you know, Peach Fuzz was nice. It could have been more with it. It's just no one to cover, you know what I mean? The artwork, well, my idea, see, I have, I had ideas for all the artwork for those records. But they just wouldn't be used or ignored, you know, like Peach Fuzz. I wanted to have like a little, uh, sort of like the Van Halen, right? Just a little, like two or three year old girl and a boy, you know, naked little girl and a boy, you know, the one having the, the shades and the cop hat and cigarette yeah. in his mouth and, you know, and the, the little girl. And I thought that would be kind of cute. It's Peach Fuzz, you yeah. know, but, uh, but then it's just, it was orange, just an orange cover. <laughs> it was nothing yeah, I mean, it's not, it's not bad. It's just like, yeah. like, you know, for such a creative band, that's, that's why it was always a question. I'm like, where are these album covers coming from? Because it doesn't feel like it's tying in with anything. I mean, I know you just label things. I but. think we got the worst album for any national act. We've got the worst album covers in history. <laughs> <laughs> I like the I first know. one. The first one's good. Well, yeah, it's, it's pretty basic. These holes yeah. together. Paraphernalia is not bad. It just looks like a magazine cover. I actually pulled up right here so I can remember as we're talking about him here. Oh, and we kind of was going was kind for of that, cool. going for that clean uh, night at the opera type vibe yeah. with the uh, yeah shadows. I also kind of feel like it's kind of like the Rolling Stone or old Vogue, like old old seventies yeah. type of magazine type of the dark thing. Yeah. So, 
now you've been in control of your own stuff though right 100 yeah. percent your own album covers and stuff pretty much so yeah you know i talk about things with with other people and stuff with my team and management my sister and everything we discuss things but you know ultimately you know the 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 decisions are are mine you know mm -hmm.